Okay, so today we're gonna do a base tour. Um, once I got to the Kindle Wastes, um, my existing base got too small, so I had to build a new one. Um, so what I did was I lined up as high as I could uh, so that I'd have a sweet view uh, like this. So, see down there, uh, that's the existing like first base location where I built my first base. And this is my new, I guess, cliff, cliff side base, you could call it. Um, I didn't intend to build it on a diagonal like this. Uh, it's just the way the grid layout worked out. Um, everything you build in the game um, is, on a, is on a grid of uh, blocks. And the grid just happened to face, like, on an angle out at the nice view, like, away from the, based on the angle of the, the, the ground. So, so I ended up going with it and just building it as, like, a triangle, essentially. Um, so my, my friends make fun of me for not liking doors. Um, so I went, have leaned heavily into that theme and sort of, the roof is a little weird with this angle, but... Uh, just putting a bronze railing here um, instead of any extra walls and having like just the view, which is kind of cool. Um, the roof, as I said, is a bit strange because of the angle. Um, I could probably fill this in with some like one by one by ones to like make it a little bit more stepped, but uh, this was the best I could do with the, the roof building pieces. Um, no doors here, obviously, just doorways to get to um, farming area over here. And uh, the water area over here. So um, starting out, when you teleport in, you end up here. Uh, right in front, there's like tier one crafting stuff, uh, shroud crafting stuff, and then like tier three and four crafting stuff. Um, I haven't utilized uh, these big chests since I just got iron very recently. Uh, so I only have this one that I just built here randomly and it's not, not used yet. Um, and then in each of the corners, I've got the um, alchemist and the hunter their various equipment um, and a chest for each of them and then the carpenter and the blacksmith over here once again with their various equipment uh, and a chest for each of them so this chest has the stuff that goes in and out of the blacksmith um, machines for the most part and this is sort of uh, there's some weird materials that don't really belong in places but um, I'm just trying to keep all the chests at like half full just so they have room to grow um, I also built this before the collector came, uh, before I ever went to the Hollow Hall, so he doesn't really have a specific place. I put his, uh, what's this called, ectoplasm press over here, and he's just sort of standing here beside um, where the hunter stuff ended there. Um, here's my cozy corner with some stuff to make the comfort half decent. Comfort's still only 36, which it could be a lot better, but uh, decorating's not exactly my strong suit. Um, so that's the base layout. Nice view. Um, all the stuff sort of an easy reach. All the machines there, the relevant people. Uh, if we go over here, uh, we've got wells. Um, just built one of these new wells, which appears to replenish faster, which doesn't really seem that useful because I don't come over here that often. But uh, basically, when I do, I just collect all the water. And this chest is specifically just for water to be dumped immediately after uh, picking it up. So that's what that chest is for. Um, this is armor here, so I have wizard gear, extra gear. I'm still hoping for an armor rack or something at some point, so I can put these, uh, you know, these sets that I found. Uh, this is the ranger gear, uh, and this is the warrior gear. Uh, some sort of legendary items that I found that look kind of cool that I saved, but for the most part, I'm just assembling things. Um, then over here is building materials. So this is like blocks, uh, stone and stuff. Uh, this is wood and roofs. And then this is like metal and kind of miscellaneous uh, building things that are in the other categories. Um, so that's that corner. And then over here is the garden. So we've got the farmer. Um, I put the spinning wheel here because the flax, it's just easiest to put the flax straight into the spinning wheel. Um, Cause that's literally where it goes. Uh, a couple of seed beds here. Um, making stuff, uh, fireplace, oven, and then sort of, once again, tier one, um, 
Uh, foodstuffs. Tier 2 food stuff, and then like tier 3 and and 4 uh, food stuff. Um, yeah, so that's that's the base. Um, the gardens here are kind of on a weird slope, um, just because this entire area is on a slope. Um, I put a few sort of support beams under here just to make it look like it's kind of supported. Not that it actually matters. Uh, I think I planted these trees over here as well. I will chop down at some point for extra wood. Um, yeah, so let's go take a look at that view one more time. This was as far out as I could go with the level 1 base. I did end up upgrading to level 2, so I could, could extend this out, um, platform out further if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, you can you can fly out pretty far from here. Like, if I need to collect wood, I can just fly down to a forest and chop down trees. Um, this is like the mostly level 1 area, so there's not a whole lot of other stuff that I, that I, that I do down here, but I just thought the view was pretty cool. You can actually see all the towers. Uh, there's the... I can't remember what the first area is called. Uh, the Revel Woods over there. Um, this is like the low, uh, the the lower meadows or whatever. Um, over there is the Nomad Highlands, and then way in the distance is the the in the wastes. Um, so let's go take a look at the existing base. So there is the, um, the vault you come out of, and then this is where the game tells you to build your first base. So initially I built like a small, a small little house. Um, I did expand it. I think I probably doubled in size. It initially was like a, I want to say like three by three. And then I extended it out a couple more blocks. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, when I was going to build the new base also, I just put a bunch of different materials down here just to test, uh, just to see what they looked like. I ended up deciding to go with the palm wood uh, floors and walls. And then outside I used fire brick uh, for like a patio and then just like a small little garden over here on the side um <laughs> uh, i can see some aloe that i chopped down on the roof here that's kind of funny all right um yeah so this is the original house once again no doors only three sides to the house just for ease of access all of the machines i just had sitting out front here basically and then all the people and chests um, and like bed and stuff i just kept inside the house here um yeah so that's it new base is way up there as you can see i basically just climbed from here i just got up to the vault and then like did the you know double jump and uh, what we like to call the floof uh, to fly higher um, and then I got basically all the way up to the to the new base which is up here so yeah that's that's the base tour um it could probably be organized a little better but I like I like having these chests like just right in front of when you spawn in so you can just drop off your stuff easily um and then, you know, some things like bones and stuff could maybe be in a potentially better spot, but uh, this is the stuff that the alchemist can make. Uh, same thing, the stuff that the hunter uses, the hunter can make. I just did a salt run and got a lot of salt because I had to run out. Um, and then, oh, our, one more thing I guess I didn't show. This is just a chest that has the collector items in it. Um, and then beside the workbench here, there's magic. A lot of the magic is on my wizard character. It's like magic heads, magical things, basically like that. And then here's like potions and throwables and stuff, bandages, things like that. Um, and then the workbench for repairing your stuff. So that's it. That's the base. Um, I think I'm getting towards the end of the game, so I know there's a few more things to unlock over over in this region, but uh, I've maxed out my flame here now. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, there's a couple more hollow halls things to do, which are probably pretty tough. Um, this one I just discovered, but I haven't done it yet. Um, and then there's going to be one more in the Ruffle Woods to do, and uh, I suspect some of this stuff also is, is harder down here in the Ruffle Woods. 
that needs to be completed. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the base, my new my new cliffside base. Uh, now that I'm in, a, in the Revel Woods and I've unlocked most of the game, uh, this is this is my sort of permanent base. And uh, yeah, the main reason I chose it was just so that I would have this uh, this pretty cool view of the land. Anyways, that's my base. Thanks for watching. Bye.